Let's head south along the banks of the Illinois River to Ottawa Township High School for boys sectional track and field. Field events start things off and Neuqua Valley sophomore Hunter Datton makes his mark early, qualifying for state thanks to a throw of 154.8, good for fourth place in the meet. His teammate Matt Apple continues his outstanding junior season with a throw of 187 11 inches. In addition to winning the meet by 30 feet, he also gets a new school record for good measure. From athletes who throw objects to athletes who throw themselves with objects, Alex Keeper of Neuqua Valley gets his state qualifying height at 13 feet 8 inches on his first attempt. Fellow senior Wildcat Trevor Lambert needs two attempts, but he gets up and over, also at 13-8, sending two Nequa Vaulters to Eastern next weekend. Your sectional champion is Wabonsi Valley senior Aiden Stapleton. He also gets 13-8, but he got there in the fewest attempts, an exciting moment for all three District 204 Vaulters. Asav Shaw of Dunlap also qualifies. Now to the shot put, and ho-hum, it's another school record for Nequa Valley's Matt Apple. This heave goes 57-5 to earn another sectional championship and a hug from a very proud coach, Dave Ricca. It's just in practice I was focusing on getting my technique down so that by the time I got the sectionals, I was able to put it out of my mind. And I was able to just trust the form that I've been working with for the weeks leading up to it. So that's just all it was really. Yeah, so last year I didn't actually score any points for the team. I just kind of went down there, uh, competed, and just boasted a state trophy out of it. But this year I'm hoping I can actually contribute now that my marks are actually within the top nine in the state going into it. So that, that's my goal really, just to contribute points. On the tails of an Equal Valley win in the 4x800, the 3200 meters is a very challenging on a day like today with the temperature over 80 degrees and higher than normal humidity thanks to storms earlier in the day. At the finish line, it's Plainfield Central senior Jonathan Ghosh who wins the meet, while Bonzi Valley junior Wes Bettler finishes in second to qualify for state. Matthew Jett from Equal Valley finishes fourth to earn four points for his team. The hurdles go onto the track for the 110 meter high hurdles. Donovan Turner from Nequa is back and recovered from a hamstring injury. He wins the sectional in 14.71 ahead of Quisi Caldwell of Oswego East. A tough break for Plainfield North senior runner Kyle Burke, one of the favorites coming into the race, but an injury causes him to stumble to the ground before the final hurdle. Despite being in a great deal of pain, he would gut it out and finish the race. One of the most fun races of the meet is also the shortest, and defending state champion Marcellus Mora of Plainfield North puts on a show as usual. He wins with a time of 10.79 seconds. The junior also wins the 200 meters later in the night. 800 meters is next, and Nequa Valley with a couple runners in contention with Michael O'Connor and Nicholas Dobolovsky. Only a two-lap race means an exciting finish, and in the end, Emmanuel and Gomas of Plainfield East just edges Michael O'Connor by less than a second. They both are moving on to state. Dovolovsky finishes fifth. Let's double up the 800 and move to the 1600. Four laps around the track for these runners in the third and final heat of the event. This one would be a photo finish. Nico's Michael Mattial and Christian Knowlton of Plainfield South are neck and neck, but it's Mattial who gets the win by less than a tenth of a second. Chris Keeley from Nequa finishes third, but not quite fast enough to qualify for state. 300 meter hurdles time and Donovan Turner in lane one really gains steam down the stretch, but he smoothly glides over the hurdles and wins his second sectional title of the night. Yorkville junior Nathan Batres gets the other state qualifying spot. Final race of the night is the 4x400. Nequa Valley has the sectional title well in hand, but is hoping to qualify in the event to improve the Wildcats' chances of defending their state championship. The final handoff finds Plainfield South in the lead just ahead of Plainfield North and Oswego. Donovan Turner takes the baton in fourth place. An absolute furious finish as Plainfield North leads, but Oswego and Nequa go to the outside to pass. Oswego hangs on for the 4x400 win. Turner pulls into second to qualify the Wildcats relay, and Plainfield North makes it to state as well in third. 
Nico takes the sectional title victory lap. Oswego East finishes second while Plainfield East and Plainfield South tie for third. The state meet at Eastern Illinois awaits next weekend. Take that long sabbatical. It was hard because every day I love to go out and hurdle. It's just, it's what I do on my free time. I just enjoy it a lot. And uh, coming back and be able to actually help my team out and get them into a good position and help some of my buddies get down to the state that haven't been down there, it's a real like, it's a sensational feeling. It's awesome. A lot of our team has actually been injured for majority of the meet, so the fact that we were actually able to come together, not be injured for the past like week, it's really, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't thank my team anymore.